Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. This is the WHO's Conversations in Science. And today we're talking to Dr. Sylvie Brion. She's the director of the Department of Global Infectious Hazard Preparedness. Sylvie's team tracks several dangerous and infectious pathogens around the globe. Welcome, Sylvie. Hello. Sylvie, we are going to talk today about myths and science. Many of these myths and misinformation have been circulating along with the COVID-19 around the globe. And some of these questions that we're going to talk about today are actually sourced from uh, Google's most searched questions. Also, some of the questions that we get uh, on various social media channels. So let's get started first with the one about weather. So we hear again and again different versions of this uh, myth that the weather affects the transmission of this virus, that if the weather changes from uh, warm to cold or from cold to warm, that transmission would change. Is that a myth or a fact? What we have seen so far is that uh, some countries with hot climate have had outbreaks but similarly, countries with a, a cold climate also have outbreaks. So it seems that the weather doesn't affect significantly the COVID-19 transmission. However, what we know now, uh, there is a specific settings and circumstances that affect the disease transmission. And for instance, if you are a long time in a crowded, uh, closed space with limited ventilation, there is more risk to have uh, COVID-19 transmission. And this is sometimes what happens in winter because it's cold outside. People tend to stay inside in places that are poorly ventilated, uh, closed and sometimes crowded. Let's say I am infected with COVID-19. If I get into a pool, can I transmit it to others? Can water uh, transmit this virus? So water cannot uh, transmit uh, COVID-19. Drinking water is not transmitting COVID-19. And if you swim in a swimming pool or in a pond, you cannot get COVID-19 through water. But what can happen if you go to a, a swimming pool which is crowded, and if you are close to other people, and if someone is infected, then you can uh, be, of course, affected. So that's why even in swimming pool, it's important to maintain physical distancing. Another one, this one is from Google's most searched questions. Uh, can mosquitoes transmit COVID-19? Mosquitoes cannot transmit COVID-19. Although we know that some viruses like Zika, Chikungunya, yellow fever or dengue can be transmitted through mosquitoes, but COVID-19 cannot be transmitted by mosquitoes. Sylvie, there is so much misinformation out there and a lot of information is pushed to each one of us. It's hard to distinguish the good from the bad. How can people know when information is to be trusted? This is a phenomenon we see with each epidemic. There is an infodemic, which is the overabundance of information, good or bad, but that makes it difficult for people to differentiate what is good information from what is a bad information or useless information. And then people feel confused and sometimes it increases their fear and anxiety uh, of the disease. So uh, it's very important uh, during an epidemic to manage this infodemic and everybody can contribute to this. First of all, people need to look at trusted sources of information. Sources of information like the WHO, for instance, or other technical agencies, uh, because we spend a lot of time to verify information. And the second thing that is very important, in addition to go to trusted sources of information, is that everybody needs to be very careful when we spread information through social media or when we discuss with neighbor or friends. Uh, when you have an information that you are not very sure about, please verify it before spreading it. And uh, like that, we will all uh, be uh, infodemic managers and we will uh, reduce uh, the spread of misinformation and disinformation. Thank you, Sylvie, for busting these popular myths for us. Uh, that wraps up Science in 5 today. Come back next time for another Science in 5 where a WHO expert will explain science. Until then, stay safe 
Stay healthy and stick with science.